Apparently a common question coming from those who are not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons is how does one win in D&D? How does a D&D game come to an end? And if you know what D&D is, this is kind of a funny question, but if you don't, it's a perfectly normal question to have. We've been so conditioned to believe that in every single game there should be someone who wins and the rest lose, and that's how the game ends. And that's kind of sad if you ask me, and it's also why I think D&D is such a special game and it's worth trying at least once. In most other games there are certain conditions and very specific rules that make someone a winner and as soon as someone wins the game ends. But that's not the case with D&D. D&D is storytelling. Yes, there are two sides on the table, there's the DM and the players and even though the DM plays the bad guys and the players are supposed to be the good guys, the heroes, they don't really play against each other. If the players win, the DM doesn't lose. The point is to have fun and say a story together. Now, depending on what the DM has planned, the story has an eventual end, but this does not depend on whether the players will win or not this final battle. Once again, I would encourage you to look at D&D like a movie instead of just a game. Most movies do have a happy ending, but not all of them do. Some have a bittersweet ending and some are actually sad during the end. But all of them can be good movies. Having a sad ending doesn't mean that the movie is not worth watching, and the same goes for D&D. The DM probably has some epic fight designed for the ending of the story and the big bad evil monster is going to fight the heroes, and the heroes are supposed to win and save the world, but if they don't, or if they do and they lose a couple of characters in the process, they die, this doesn't make the story any less valuable. This doesn't mean that the game doesn't end because there was no clear winner. Sometimes this drama does make the story even better and the fight even more epic. And as with movies, the story may not even end there. The fact that they finished something and they actually defeated the big bad evil monster doesn't mean that the story stops going. If they all have fun and they all want to keep playing the same characters and the DM is up for it, they can have some downtime and then maybe they are needed elsewhere and they start a new epic story and they resolve different problems. It's like having a good movie and the production having a sequel about the movie. If the first movie finishes and everything was so good and so epic, maybe they do decide to make a second movie out of it. And the same goes for D&D. If the first story comes to an end, the game doesn't necessarily have to end if everyone is having fun. You just keep going with a different story. Eventually, after the first or the second or even the third story has come to an end with the same characters and they have all evolved, hopefully everyone is happy with how their character have ended up and the DM is ready to stop playing a game for these specific characters, they all together decide that the game is ready to actually come to a closure. And have you seen those movies that they give you a couple of minutes in the end to tell you how every character of the movie has been doing and where they are like a few years down the line? You can do that with D&D as well. Even if the big fight finishes and the story actually ends, you can have an extra session to decide where your character would end up and for the DM to uh, describe you the world after everything has settled and the world is back to normal. It's a good closure to have if you are about to put aside a character, especially if you've been playing for a while. It can take years to finish a storyline like that and it's nice to have the extra session to know that your character is settled and where they are when you set them aside and decide to create a new character. And that's pretty much how the ending of a D&D game would look like. It's not about someone winning and someone losing, there are no certain conditions and rules, it's just about a bunch of friends who decide that the story has actually reached a point where the closure would be nice. Hopefully everyone is ready to leave those characters behind and the DM is ready to create a new story about them. Maybe for the next story someone else starts DMing and the previous DM becomes a player or maybe there are rearranges in the group as well. But when everyone is ready to finish a game, the story can come to an end and maybe they just roll new characters and start a new storyline from the very beginning. 
So yeah, I hope this helped a little bit and it cleared things out if you're not familiar with D&D and how it works. And if you are familiar but you're getting this question a lot, maybe you now have some ideas on how to explain it to others better. In either case, if this video was helpful to you, please leave a like before you go, it does help my channel grow. And consider subscribing for more videos like this. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams. Bye.